Okay, I'm going to do a tutorial on motion typography. It's also known as kinetic typography. And it's basically just words moving to text. Um, I'm sure you've seen it in commercials or on the uh, internet somewhere. Um, but this is the first time I've ever done it on Anime Studio. I tested it out and it looks pretty good, so I'll just give it a shot just to start off with. So I've created a background, just a colored gradient. And the first thing I'm going to do is import the um, audio I want to animate to. And I've picked Ariana Grande's uh, Side to Side, just the very first verse. Basically because it starts off with lyrics. And, um, oops, let me go back to frame zero and import that. And, okay. So it starts out with um, the lyrics, I've been here all night. So I'm going to create the uh, text for that. So I'm going to hit Command T. And I already have Impact selected. And I'm going to type in I've. And I chose um, Impact because it's a thick font. So I want it to be really visible. So I've hit Return or OK. Then I'm going to hit do Command T again. Bin, Command T, here, OK, Command T, all, OK, Command T, and night. They're just overlapping right now. I just wanted to get them onto the uh, canvas individual as individual layers because I want to manipulate them all. So let's go ahead and turn off all of them except I've. And I'll go ahead and rearrange these. Uh, select the transform layer tool. I'll go ahead and re oops. resize it. And I'll put it up here. Like right about like that. Turn on bin. And then I'm going to hold shift down and select the rotation. That way it rotates on 45 degree angle so I get it uh, facing uh, just right. I'll go ahead and shrink this. And maybe squish it a little bit. And I'm just kind of playing with the arrangement. I'm not going for anything in particular. Here. Turn on here. Move it over to the side. And maybe right there. And then turn on all. I'll go ahead and turn this to fit it down here a little bit and then night and move that over here so squish it Oops. kind of get it into place because basically I'm just putting everything where I want it to appear kind of so Again, nothing in particular. So now that we have all of our words here, let's go ahead and put it into a group because we want to be able to move the entire group um, together for the next set of words. So let's call this lyrics one. And we'll go ahead and put those in that folder. So I just hold, held shift down and clicked one layer and then while holding shift, clicking all of the others and then dragged them into this folder. So they're all in the folder right now. Now I want to make these all invisible. So I'm gonna double click on night or whatever is your top layer. Um, and then go ahead and go to general, hold shift down and select all of your words again and uncheck visible and apply. And that just hides all of the text together at the same time. And now we just need to make them reappear um, when the music's playing. So we'll go to I've and go find it um, using the audio track down here. So she starts singing right here. So we'll double click I've, go to general, visible, apply, and OK. Do the same thing with uh, bin. Appears right about there. Double click, general, visible, apply, OK. 
And don't worry if it's off, you can always move the visibility later on. Here, double click the layer, general, visible, apply, okay. All. Right there, double click it, general, visible, apply, okay. Night, it's right about there, I think. General, visible, apply, okay. So now you can see we got them appearing um, when they're supposed to, but now let's animate them a little bit. So I'm going to go to Ive again, and let's have this rotate in. So let's actually take the visibility keyframe and pull it back a little bit. And we'll go to right, right where we pulled it to. And we're going to use the rotate layer XY. So we'll click on this, and I'm going to hold down Option and left click and drag till it turns. Oops. Okay, so see how it's turning? It's turning the words in 3D space. That's why it looks like it's in perspective. We don't want it to actually uh, be in perspective because we want this to look invisible, to turn directly 90 degrees. So what we need to do is double click the group folder and click immune to camera movements and apply. So now, okay, we want this to disappear here. So again, with the uh, rotate layer XY, hold down option, left click and drag until it disappears. And then we'll go back to where it says I've, hold option down and then left click and drag to the right until it reappears correctly. So basically what it's doing is turning it in 3D space. So we can change the uh, visibility and where it starts rotating. And you can see it looks like it's squishing it, but it's actually turning it. And we'll go ahead and do the same for bin. So again, pull it back. And so this is where it's going to start. So we'll use the uh, X rotate layer XY drag it so it's disappeared and see it's actually turned it's where it's not visible hold option down pull, pull it back into place okay so instead of turning the here lyric we'll go go to here we'll pull it back and we'll use the manipulate or I mean transform layer tool, let's drag it off stage and then when it says here, right about there, just go ahead and pull it back into place. And I kinda like all just popping in so we'll just leave it like that. And let's pull this up a little bit. And night Let's click on that. We'll pull the visibility back. Click right here. Let's rotate it. I'm going to rotate it upside down and off stage. And then, and wherever night is, we'll go ahead and rotate it back. And there. And it doesn't matter where it is when it's um, hidden, it only matters. It only matters where it, when it's visible. Um, and to s speed up or slow down this uh, animation, go ahead and just move the, f the keyframes further apart. And there's the basics, or very beginnings. I know there's a whole bunch more that I can do with kinetic typography. Um, this is kind of just to show you a couple examples of how to animate text into the frame, or into your scene. Um, also, I wanted to show you um, putting uh, images inside of your text. So, since she says night, we'll go ahead and put a picture of the moon in there. So, so she says night. Right before she says night, I'm going to import a picture of a moon that I found. 
and it's a PNG file, so the background is uh, transparent. And you can see it's in the folder. Um, we need to mask it out. So to mask everything, go ahead and click um, the double click the group layer and click masking and hide all. Now, when I apply that, the only thing that's masking out is the eye. That's because it defaults, Anime Studio will default the bottom layer as the mask. So everything else is actually being um, masked out, and we want them to be part of the mask. So, um, double click I've. That just opens this layer settings window, because you need to have this open. Hold shift down and select all of your words. Go back to masking and add to mask and apply. Oops. Don't do it on this one. It's already a mask. So go to bin and double click it, hold shift down, select all the other words, go to masking and add to mask and apply. There we go. So you can see it's worked because all of the um, words have a little plus sign by them. That just means that it's part of the mask now. So the moon which is being masked out has this little circle half circle half white circle half black circle it's really hard to see cuz it's a tiny icon but if i shrink it down you can see that it's it's just masked out in the words but we want it to be just come into the um animated into the words when she says night so we'll go back to Okay, that's where the moon appears. We're just going to drag it off stage, and then when she says night, we can have it land at the same time when night stops moving. So go to that keyframe in the timeline, and then just pop it up in there wherever you want. And you can move it around. Let me see if that looks better after. Let's make it see. Um, you can tell in the audio where the beat hits, so we'll just move this to the moon to stop right on the beat. And then the other thing is, since we have the layers or the first group of layers in a folder, we can animate the entire folder to move off. So if we want to go. So this is, we'll make this the start frame so we can do um, transform layer tool, just click on the group so it has a start frame and then, and then on the next beat we can just have it move off. Oops. There we go. So I moved the start frame over to here. Then that leaves the, the space open for the next set of words. So again, this is just the very, very basics of kinetic typography. I'm super new to it. I've actually never tried it before again, like I said. So um, I'll keep experimenting with it, seeing if I can figure out um, new things to do. Because there's, if you've looked at kinetic typography online, uh, if you just look it up here on YouTube, there's really, really cool things you can do with it. Um, but again, this is just the basics uh, if you want to get started with it in Anime Studio or Moho. And um, I'll try and make a part two when I learn more. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And thanks for watching.